and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be making this beautiful jumpsuit okay i showed us how to do the pattern in the previous tutorial and i hope you got that right if you're new to this channel welcome please click the subscribe button click the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and now let's dive into our sewing tutorial so guys what i've done now is to place my trouser pattern on my fabric my fabric is folded into two so i'm going to cut out my fabric following the patterns here So guys, after cutting out my trouser pieces over there, I'm going to go on to cut my bodice. My front bodice will be cut on fold, okay? So my fabric is folded into two, and then I'll go on to cut it out with a half an inch seam allowance at my neckline, my shoulder slope, armhole, side seam, and then under. So for the back part, I'm going to cut it into two because we have zip allowance here. Now, I've already added my zip allowance on the pattern already, so the only part that I'm going to cut with seam allowance will be the neckline, the shoulder slope, armhole, the side seam, and then under. So guys, after cutting, what I'm going to do is to transfer the darts from the pattern paper to the fabric. I'm going to go on to sew the darts, and then I'll make sure to overlock all the raw edges of this fabric. After I've sewn the darts, I went ahead to overlock the raw edges, like I said. So I've placed the back trousers, the panels on top of each other with right side touching. This is the front, here is the back. So I'm going to sew the crotch area by half an inch seam allowance. Sew this crotch as well by half an inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to grab my bodice now. I'll place them on top of each other with right side stretching. Then I'll go on to sew the shoulder seams and the side seam for, you know, both sides. Okay, then I'll come show you guys what we're going to do next. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew the side seam of my bodice. This is my bodice here, but I did not sew it completely, okay? I left about one inch here and one inch here because I want to join the front of the bodice to the front of my trouser and then the back pieces of my bodice to the back pieces of my trouser, okay? So I've placed the front on top of the back like this. I'll go on to sew by a half an inch seam allowance. I'll do the same thing for the back as well. I also did not completely sew the crotch because of attachment of zipper. I will also go on to attach the back trouser to the back bodice at the waist area by a half an inch seam allowance as well. So guys, after sewing the waist together, this is what I have. This is the waist for the back. That's why the zipper allowance part here is open. I've sewn the front as well as you can see here. The next thing I'm going to do is to take this to my sewing machine now. I'm going to seal up the side seam all the way down to the bottom, okay, for both legs. Then I'm going to grab the crotch like this, okay, place them together and then sew the inseam leg from here all the way down, from here all the way down. And now we're going to move to the sleeve part. So guys, for my sleeve, what I did was to place my long sleeve pattern on my fabric. My fabric is folded into two so that I can cut the two sleeves at once. So I have my long sleeve pattern here and it is measuring um 24 inches it is measuring 24 inches inclusive of half an inch seam allowance at the top here half an inch seam allowance at the bottom here so i want it to get up to about 28 inches so i'm going to come right here and mark 28 inches okay i mark 28 inches like this just make sure to straighten it out okay because we are making flare sleeves so I just straighten it out like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come right here now. Come right from this part, the bottom edge. I just, you know, straighten it down like so. Okay, so I just straighten it down like this. And then from here, I'll now determine, okay, how wide I want to extend it. So I'll be marking whatever I mark here on this side as well. So let me start from here. I'll go with nine inches. So I mark nine inches here. Then I'll come here as well. From this straight part, I mark nine inches, okay? So I mark nine inches. And then what I'm going to do is to connect from here like this to the nine inches. So just connect it like so, okay? If you have a lot more fabric, you can make it, you know, flare out more than what I have here. So I'll just go on to, you know, just straighten it out like this, okay? And then once I'm done, I'll go on to cut this out like this and then follow the sleeve head cut it out like that as well 
So guys, after cutting, this is what I have. What I'm going to do right now is to notch the center of the sleeve head, okay? This part will come in handy when we are attaching the sleeve to the armhole of the body's part of this jumpsuit, okay? So I'm just going to notch it like so, okay? So I notch it and then I'll also notch the part that will be the back so I can differentiate the back and the front. So I just notch the back. The front is not notched, okay? And then what I'm going to do is to take the sleeves to my sewing machine. I'll place the edges of each sleeve, right sides touching like so, and I'll go on to sew with a half an inch seam allowance. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew the side seam of the sleeve, and this is what it looks like. I made sure I overlocked all the raw edges as well. And guys, can you see how gathered the mouth of the sleeve is? So I gathered it in such a way that my wrists can pass through this very, very easily, okay? So can you see, I gathered it like this. So what I'm going to do right now is to do the same thing for the second sleeve. I've already run a gathered stitch at the bottom. So all I need to do is to pull my fabric and the thread, and then I'm going to gather it just like I did for this one right here, okay? So guys, after gathering the bottom, this is what it looks like. This is what I have for my two sleeves. And then I went on to cut a straight fabric so this straight fabric is measuring about 9.5, about 9.5 by the width, if you fold it into two, it should be around, yeah, around 4.75 inches. So it depends on the length of cuff that you want. When you place it around my arm, this is where it's going to get to. So what I'm going to do right now is to measure my wrist. So for my wrist here, so that my hand can pass through, okay, I have nine inches. So I'll, and then I'll measure here as well nine inches should be able to fit as well so what i have here is okay what i have here is 9.75 inches so i've estate it i put paper stay because i want it to be a little thicker so i'll take this to my sewing machine now i'm going to sew this part by a quarter inch or um or just a little more than a quarter inch i'll sew it straight down and then turn it you know right sides out okay so that we can have like a circular stop here so i'll do the same thing for this one and then i'll come show you guys what we are going to do next after sewing and turning your cuff it should look like this okay such that when you put your hands in do you understand it's going to look something like this so i just turned it like that so you guys can see what it will look like now, now this is how we are going to sew it i grab one of the sleeves okay i turn it right sides out can you see what I did here? Then what I'm going to do is to wear the sleeve into this. So I'm going to have this right side touching. Okay, so I need to match the side seam to the side seam. Very, very important. And then I'll take this to my sewing machine and I'll be sewing all around like this by a half an inch seam allowance. So after sewing this bottom by a half an inch, what I'm going to do is to open up everything like this, okay? And I have a crease here, which is what I used to know that, you know, this is going to fold in by that crease. So what I did was push it in. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine now. Okay, so can you see what I'm doing? I'll place, I'll fold the cuff by half an inch. Use it to cover up these raw edges that you can see here, like this, okay? And then I'll be sewing all around to cover up the raw edges. So guys, I'm done fixing my sleeve and this is what we have right here, okay? I fixed the two sleeves. The next thing I want to do is to sew it to the bodice, okay? So my sleeves are right sides out. What I'm going to do is to match the sleeve head, okay? Place it inside like this. Right sides to right sides touching. I match the sleeve head to the shoulder seam around the armhole area. And then I'm going to match the side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the bodice okay and then i'll be sewing by a half an inch seam allowance all around and i'll repeat the same thing for this other sleeve as well after attaching my sleeves to my jumpsuit what i'm going to do next is to fix in my zipper so i'll just go on to attach my zipper from here okay to where you know the stitch stopped here so can you see my zipper will start from here and stop here. I'm using an invisible zipper and this is the color that I had. So I'll go on to attach my zipper. What I did for my neckline was to use a bias tape to turn it. 
okay so that it will be much more neater as you can see and i hemmed the bottom of my trousers as well so guys after fixing my zipper this is what the back looks like okay this is what i have here is our jumpsuit and guys it is actually optional to attach a belt to this and it's quite easy since this is not lined so i want to attach a belt to mine like i said it is optional but i want to attach a belt to my own i have two pieces of fabric here as you can see the two fabrics are measuring 5.5 inches in width okay 5.5 inches in width and the length is 39 inches so i'll take them to my sewing machine now and sew them you know right sides to right sides touching and then i'm going to sew this part by a half an inch similar ones all the way down okay also by half an inch similar ones and after sewing by a half an inch similar ones i would centralize the seam so it's going to you know come somewhere in the middle like this and then i stitch the bottom i hope you understand the explanation what i'm going to do is to go on to turn this right side out and then i'll give it a very very good press so that our belt you know comes out nice and flat okay so i'll just go on to turn this right sides out like this this part is particularly very simple because the belt is very wide okay so i'll just go on to poke the ends out that is very very important and i'll go on to give this a very very good press same thing for this one after sewing and pressing my belt this is what we have here so in order to attach it to the bodies what i did was to open the side seam area they are wide enough for my belt to enter Okay, so I'm going to insert it in like this. Then I'll go from the inside to sew that place back by half an inch similar ones. And I'll do the same thing for this part as well. Okay, I'll insert the belt and then sew it in by a half an inch similar ones. So guys, after sewing, this is what we have. This is what our dress looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, kindly give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos. And I will be seeing you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.